MyLuminator is an online calculation tool which can be used to calculate the performance of LEDs under different operating conditions. The tool can also be used to compare solutions with different LED types in a complete system and make a basic cost estimation of different configurations. Additionally, up to four different LED systems can be compared. MyLuminator can be found at www.apps.osram-os.com slash MyLuminator. Let's first review the three sections of MyLuminator. First, there is an LED-related section where the typical properties of the LED under binning conditions are selected. The second section is related to the user's system. This is where optical and electrical efficiencies of the system can be modified. The third section is related to the cost of the LEDs and assembly along with system costs. Now, we will demonstrate how to use MyLuminator. To get started, select an LED by pressing this button. Then select an LED brand and also the sub-brand. This will provide a list of all the devices in the Duris S family, for example. Now select a specific LED device and, if possible, also an LED device variant. Sometimes there are different color temperatures, like 2700 Kelvin or 4000 Kelvin. If the color temperature in your specific design cannot be found, in this example 3000 Kelvin, don't worry, just use the one closest to it. The main difference is in the spectrum, which does not influence these calculations. So select the variant, press the select button, and now the LED is loaded in my Illuminator. Here you can see the LED you have selected. This is the typical binning current for the LEDs, and it is automatically selected as the typical forward current. Yes, I am pointing in the field where we can see the 150 of the binning current. Here, you can select the brightness bin you want to use for the calculation of the LED. For our example, let's use the LR. Here, you can see that the typical value of the LR bin is 135 lumen and the unit is displayed here. The same applies to the forward voltage, which is already included here. The voltage is 6.3 volts under binning conditions, but a different forward voltage can also be chosen. Again, the center of the bin will be automatically included here as the forward voltage. Next, you can also enter a solder point temperature, which is 25 degrees Celsius right now. Then, press the Calculate button. And we get the result of our first calculations here in the result area. We see that the complete system has 133 lumen, 146 lumen per watt, and the junction temperature is 33.5 degrees Celsius at a solder point temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. Now you can change, for example, the forward current from 150 to 200 milliamps. Press Enter on the Calculate button up here and you will end up with 169 lumen, 132 lumens per watt and almost 38 degrees Celsius. The brightness of the LED can also be changed. To calculate with 140 lumen from the LED under binning conditions, for example, use the same process as noted before. Type in the number, press Enter, and the values will be updated. The same can also be done to change the value of the forward voltage. A slight modification shows the typical voltage bin vanishes because it was slightly modified. Updates occur by pressing Enter or the Calculate button. Let's move on to the solder point temperature. In a luminaire, the LEDs are not driven at 25 degrees, but rather at a higher temperature of, for example, 70 degrees. Therefore, enter the value of 70 degrees, press the Enter button, and the junction temperature goes up to 82.7 degrees Celsius when the solder point temperature of the LED is 70 degrees Celsius. Right now, we're calculating with one LED in the system. 
Therefore, we will get the brightness value for one LED in the system. But we can also calculate for 10 LEDs, and as can be seen, now the system luminous flux is 1600 lumen. Typically, we have some kind of optics or covers, so let's assume that we have an optical efficiency with only 90%, because 10% of the light from the LEDs may be lost in the optics. This will lead to a reduction in the luminous flux and also in the efficacy. We can also consider that we have some losses in our drivers. 10% losses lead to 90% efficiency. This will also have an effect in our system efficacy. If interested in different results, for example, one doesn't want to see the total system luminous flux, but the luminous flux of one single LED, go to the results section, press this button, and select the parameter to be displayed, such as the LED luminous flux. And then we're back to the luminous flux value of one LED without the impact on the optical efficiency of the system. Now a second LED can also be compared to the first one. Press the LED selection button. Let's choose a Solaric COB. And again, we get a complete list of LEDs. Let's pick this one. In this case, it can be seen there is no color temperature variant available. Here, the brightness bin, in this case RT, 1570 lumens, has to be selected again. Here, it can be seen that one cannot select a voltage bin because for this COB LED doesn't provide a voltage bin. The typical forward voltage of the LED is entered automatically, in this case, 34.6 volt. We assume the same solder point temperature for the COB like in the first system. We also assume the same optical and electrical losses and press the enter button. We will now see the result for the calculation based on the second LED. Now we can go back to the system, Luminous Flux. We can see that both systems have the same temperature and the same optical efficiency, the same electrical efficiency, and roughly the same luminous flux. They roughly have the same lumens per watt and also a similar junction temperature. Now a cost calculation can be done. Let's just assume the price for this LED is 1, and the price for that LED will be 10. Maybe we want to have a lens on each LED and we'll assume that one lens costs 0 0.1. Here we also have optics for the COB, so we just assume the larger optics cost us 2. At the same time, maybe we want to include a heat sink or a housing, and we assume the cost of each is the same, so they cost us around 5. And again, we press the Calculate button. The impact on the system cost can be seen if we select the System Total Cost parameter. We will see the total cost of System 1 is slightly lower compared to the total cost of System 2, with a similar performance. This format allows one to compare different systems, different LED types, different amounts of LEDs, and calculate the performance of the LED under different application conditions. We wish you a lot of fun with my Luminator.